Hello, welcome to my presentation. I'm glad you could join. My name is Michael Heck, and I present recent work that we did here at Heinrich Heine University. The title is Trippy, a triple copy strategy for value independent neural dialogue state tracking. Let me start by putting this work into perspective. Task oriented dialogue systems just recently gained widespread acceptance with personal assistance in many homes and on many smartphones. This popularity demands robust and scalable solutions for multi-domain settings, such as the one that we see here on the side. Since assistants are expected to be useful for a wide variety of tasks. And also for open vocabulary settings, since more often than not, vocabularies cannot be predefined. This talk is about a particular component of dialogue systems, the dialogue state tracker. Systems rely on dialogue state tracking to monitor the goals of the user throughout the course of a dialogue. To fulfill a user goal, the dialogue system must extract relevant information from the user input and track this information during conversation. Here's an example to explain the task at hand. In order to recommend a restaurant to a user, the system needs to know preferences in terms of price, location, and so on. To do that, the system maintains a dialogue state. The dialogue state is the summary of the conversation until the current turn. It forms a set of constraints, usually in the form of slot value pairs. Slots are concepts that the user can talk about with the system, and values are instances of those concepts. Some examples you see here in the table. Tracking the dialogue state is essential for the system to pick its next action. Domains, slots, values, and actions are usually defined by an ontology, and traditionally, ontologies were fixed and prediction was performed over all slot value pairs. These pick list based approaches perform well on small data sets, but they have some scaling issues. They require a complete ontology, for instance, by including all possible booking options. But this is not sustainable for real world applications. Recently, span-based approaches to DST gained popularity. These methods directly extract values from the dialogue context. Transformer architectures, such as BERT, generate contextual representations that are especially useful for this task. The downside is that span prediction only suits values that can be found in the input directly. These methods also struggle with natural language phenomena, such as co-references and implicit choice. Lastly, recent hybrid approaches improve the flexibility when handling variants and expressions, but they have the same scaling issues as pick list based methods. Scalability and generalization is linked to an idea called value independence. It is desired that the dialogue state tracker's performance is independent from which values it knows from training or from pick lists. Looking at recent approaches, there seems to be a trade off between the level of value independence and dialogue state tracking performance. Ultimately, none of the recent approaches are value independent in the strict sense. They are either limited by the capabilities of the applied methods or they have scaling issues. In order to address these issues and improve value independence, we propose TRIPI, Triple Copy Strategy DST. TRIPI is a hybrid approach that avoids the scaling issues of other hybrid approaches. Our model relies on span prediction to extract values directly from user input whenever possible. In addition to that, two copy mechanisms can copy values from memories that are maintained on the fly. Trippy does not use any predefined pick lists and uses the dialogue context as the only source of information. The model decides for every slot which copy mechanism to use. The inform memory tracks values that were informed by the system. If the model predicts that a value was informed, then the value is copied from the inform memory. This solves the implicit choice issue. The dialogue state memory tracks pre previously seen values. If the model predicts that a value was previously assigned to another slot, then the value is copied from the dialogue state memory. This solves the co-reference or the, the value sharing issue. I would like to walk you through the model design step by step. There are various tasks that the model has to solve. For each turn, the dialogue context needs to be encoded. This is done by the context encoder. 
The encoder takes as input the current user utterance, the previous system utterance, and the dialog history. The, the output of the encoder is one sequence representation and a sequence of token representations. Once the context is encoded, the model needs to do the following. For each slot, predict whether a slot value is present in the input or not. This is done by slot gates. Then the values need to be copied into the dialog state. This is done by either span prediction or by using the memory mechanisms. Slot gates determine whether a slot is present in the current turn. They predict none if the slot does not take a value in this turn. Don't care is predicted if any value seems acceptable. Otherwise, the slot gate predicts span if the value can be extracted via span prediction. Inform if the user refers to a value that was uttered by the system, or refer if the user refers to a value that is already assigned to a different slot. Boolean slots have separate slot gates. Spam based value prediction works as follows. For each token, the model computes its likelihood to be either the start or the end position of a span. Then the most likely start and end positions among all tokens are picked. A slot is filled by an informed value stored in the inform memory if the user positively refers to it, for instance, by confirming a choice that the system offered, like in the example here. And if span prediction cannot be used, that is, if the user only did an implicit choice and there is no span to extract. Slot gates can predict that the user refers to a value that has already been assigned to a different slot during the conversation. Another classification head then predicts the slot which contains the reference value. The value of that slot is copied to the current slot. This can also happen across multiple turns. We mask the values and pass system utterances to force the model to focus on the historical context rather than specific values. The slot gates also use auxiliary features. These are binary vectors that indicate which slots were recently informed and which slots were already filled before. I will now talk about the experimental evaluation. We tested Trippy on four datasets. MultiWars is the most complex dataset. The challenge here is the multi-domain setting and the large ontology. WAS is a standard benchmark. And SIMM and SIMR are interesting because some of their slots have a high out of vocabulary rate during testing. For comparisons to other methods, we use joint goal accuracy. This is the ratio of turns with correct slot value assignments, including empty slots. During training, we also fine tune BERT. We use an input length of 180, except for multi WAS, where we use the maximum. The figure on the left compares Trippy with recent methods that also tested on multi -wars. The figures on the right show the performance on the single domain data sets. At the time of submitting this work, our model achieved state-of-the-art performance on all four data sets. Most notably, we pushed the performance on the demanding multi -wars by another 2% absolute. The consistent improvements uh, on all data sets demonstrate that the model generalizes well to multiple domains. Some BT, for instance, performs very well on wars, but falls back on multi-wars. Trippy scales well with the data. SIMM has less than 400 training examples, but Trippy maintains performance better than, for instance, BERT. Our approach is also robust to OOV values. LUDST performs well on SIMR with a moderate OOV rate, but struggles with the extremely high OOV rate on SIMM. I will come back to the issue of OOV values again shortly. We conducted an ablation study to find out how the individual components contribute to the performance of Trippy. Our baseline model is best compared to BERT DST, which only takes single turns as input and only uses span prediction. The low performance shows that the dialogues and multi was are too complex for a single copy method. Applying the triple copy mechanism improved performance greatly especially the slot gate performance. This modification also enables resolution of co-references, even across multiple terms. We found that historical context is important to reduce ambiguity so that values are assigned to the correct slots more often. 
Adding the auxiliary features proved to be complementary to the dialogue history. The additional information about the current progress supports the slot gates. Partial masking only resulted in minor but consistent improvements across data sets. And using the full input width is obviously of advantage for longer dialogues like the ones that we see in MultiWAS. We wanted to make sure that our model generalizes well to unseen values. In the figure, you see the slot, slot gate, and spend prediction accuracies for slots with exceptionally high OOV rates. We compared their performance to the average performance for all slots in the respective data sets. We found that the slots that expect named entities generally perform worse, but the OOV rate does not seem to be the main cause for this. For instance, even at a rate of 100%, the movie slot of SimM still performs comparably well. To confirm that, we did another test. Here you see the recall of values depending on how many samples for each value we see during training. Surprisingly, OOV values are detected just as well as generally less common values. We found that Trippy generalizes better over the number of seen training samples than the baseline does. Lastly, we did an extreme test where we replaced most values in the multiwas test set with OOVs. On the right-hand side, you see the per slot accuracy on the original test set and on the OOV test set. What can be seen is that most slots maintain a high accuracy. We took this as proof that Trippy has a good OOV handling regardless of the slot type. Let me summarize this talk. We have seen that Trippy handles challenging DST scenarios. Unseen values during evaluation do not generally impair performance. And the memory-based copy mechanisms improve robustness and generalization as the model is less affected by data sparsity and is not limited by a predefined vocabulary. In the future, we would like to investigate slot independence. We also plan to incorporate a better dialogue, update dialogue state update strategy. I thank you for your time and I'm looking forward to see you at the Q&A.